So he's hopefully going to retrieve the license that he left and we will be in good shape. What's up guys? We're back. Today we're gonna go see the Chichen Itza. Yes, it is about a two hour drive from Tulum. So we woke up pretty early, pretty early for us. <laughs> and we are headed there. We should get there around 12.30 or so. So once we get there to Chichen Itza, they have a number of official guides that you can hire on the spot at the entry. Um, and it's apparently legit. But we see that in different tourist uh, destinations. But in this case, um, I guess it's pretty common. So we're planning to do that. So we learn a little bit more about the ruins while we're there. So yeah, and we're gonna check how much that costs and we will let you guys know. All right, so let's check it out. Let's go. Where is the distance to get there? 5 minutes walking. 5 minutes walking? It's the most close for now. Do we stop there? Yes, there's a lot of people who are going to stop. Where are the people? Go, 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 go! Hello, good days. Good days. Where can I park? Chichen Itza, after two hours of a rainy drive, now we get to pour it in the rain, um, which is fine because we bought these ponchos for 50 pesos each, about 250. Uh, we parked outside of the park. Um, he'll show you in a second, I'm sure, but all the tour buses, and I think by this time the, there's probably official parking that was unavailable, so we paid 70 pesos to park right outside the main park entrance. and. Now we are walking in. It's supposed to be about a five minute walk, walk on foot, but we'll see. We'll let you know. Okay, we're gonna check it out now and see you guys on the other side at the entrance. Bye. <laughs> All right, we are here at the entrance, which you can see is definitely very chaotic. Uh, we planned to get a guide upon arrival, and we did, but it is 1,100 pesos, 1,000 pesos for English, 900 for Spanish, uh, an extra 100 for paying with credit card, so and they'll get the tickets for you. So you can kind of avoid that line that's there, but uh, let's see how it goes. It's raining and it's a little bit chaotic, but it's all gonna be worth it. Rainy day. That's it. So let's check it out. We'll show you what it's like to get into the park once we actually can. So this is the official ticketing area. On this side, and this side, 571 Mexican pesos for adults. 253 for Mexican citizens with a valid ID. 85 Mexican pesos for children, foreign children, 3 to 12. 
I don't know about every day, but today is a rainy day and I have so many people. Look at the camp we can see over there. Let's check it out, guys. That building comes out in front of our eyes. The name of that building is Kukulkan Temple. Kukulkan means three Maya words. Ku means God and Maya. Kul, feathers. Kan, snake. The feathers of serpent God. Other important cultures, Central Mexico, Tenochtitlan, Mexicas, Toltecas, Aztecas, they call the same God. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal, in their now a dialect, is spoken by themselves. Central cultures, Central Mexican cultures. Quetzal means feathers and coat a snake. Quetzal, at present, is the legal tender in Guatemala. Quetzal is the money, la moneda. Toltes came from Central Mexico. So, this is the Toltec epoch. Toltes came in 987 AD. 987 AD. 10th century after Christ. We are reliable information from the scholar people. People who, they have dedicated part, part of their life to study the Maya culture. To prove this, there are people here with the Toltec last name. For instance, we have uh, two guide partners. One is Mario Iwit. Iwit is not Maya last name. Maya last name, Cap, Cop, Ken, Wajep, Balam, Kanche, Kamal, Maya last names. But Iwit is Toltec last name. Another one. Julio with seal. With seal is not Maya, it's Toltec last name. So you can see right there the fusion of these two cultures. Mayas and Toltecs. Inside, 10 meters side. Second one, 14 meters side. The third one, 34 meters side. But the other two down below were used as solid foundations to raise up everything. Yeah. And they cover them. They cover them forever. Never visit them. 52 years apart. Yes, yes. Every 52 years. Hi everyone, we are back. And we just finished our tour here in Chichen Itza. Yes. <laughs> yes. A little hard for me, I don't know why. And we are here from this temple, Kukan Kukukan temple. temple. This is the main temple here that you would come to see here at Chichen Itza. It's 100 feet tall, that's about 35 meters tall. We just went around the whole grounds with the tour. Like we told you at the beginning, it was about a thousand pesos 
uh, 1100 with credit card, uh, but <laughs> worth every peso um, to come and see this amazing site. So within this pyramid, there are three others, uh, two others, um, and they build them 52 years apart. The Mayan people were incredibly accurate in terms of time cycles, and they lived by time cycles on everything. So the guide will explain how they worked with all the different, how accurate the calendar was, but the accuracy of the way that the different structure, structures are created here so that this temple took advantage of equinoxes in uh, the spring and autumn. So on March 21st and maybe September 21st, you can see incredible uh, phenomenon if it's a sunny day. We'll show you, but on this side of the the temple, make a snake a snake. So Kukukan, Ku stands for God, and Kukukan is like a feathered serpent. So that was one of the gods the Mayans worshipped and the most important. So you'll see snakes all over here. And then when the light hits the north side of this um, pyramid uh, structure and temple, you can see uh, down one side of it, the sun will illuminate more and more of the, the snakes. The so snakes? It's, it's very, <laughs> very cool. Nothing here was by accident, um, but we'll show you more of the, of the grounds here. It's 17 square miles of uh, of, uh, of structures, right? And only a small portion of that is actually restored. So it's an incredible place and it would have been completely even with uh, paved and tile and ceramics and all painted in blue and white um, and just very, very ornate. And it was only for the very religious elite okay. here. So let's go check out more of Chichen Itza. See you guys soon. Yeah, guys, each size right here and there have a nine one steps represent uh, the days of the year, right, man? Yeah. So on uh, ninety one times four gets you three sixty four, and then on top there is a top step, which would be the three sixty five. So their accuracy uh, and the representation of the the solar year was spot on, very accurate, <laughs> right? So this section is the ball court, but it wasn't meant to be so much a game that they would play with a rubber ball the size of a softball or so. It was more so a, they played it once a year, a religious site. So only priests were able to play this game. Um, and they would have seven on each of the teams. Um, but this would have been a very impressive 400 foot or over a hundred meters long area all covered in this stone and decorated and painted so a very impressive area um, definitely worth coming to check out and learn more okay everyone we are gonna drive back to Tulum now why not we spend maybe almost three hours here yeah, three hours or so, maybe an hour and a half with the tour, and then a little bit longer walking around, but uh, definitely bring water. Uh, they won't let you bring any food. No. What other things to know? Oh, they wouldn't let tripod. us bring no tripod, no microphone, but there are lockers up front. You'll get a key and a ticket. Um, but No plan, drones. Plan, yeah, no, definitely no drones. <laughs> plan to uh, put that away before you try to get through the turnstiles when you enter. Um, otherwise, there's even more chaos at the entry, <laughs> so which we found out. But now we're gonna head back before the rain. Definitely recommend Chichen Itza. See you guys soon. All right, guys. So even though it is 3:30 and I believe they close at five, there are still plenty of people over here the exit and entrance. All right, let's hope our stuff is still here in the locker. Lucky number 34. Oh, we are in luck. Yeah, you have to pay. This was 50 pesos, so. Yeah, they keep some form of ID, a driver's license, and our ponchos look so good. And you will take it back. Now we're not 
now. So he's hopefully going to retrieve the license that he left. And we will be in good shape. I need some dramatic music. Alright, we are in business. Woohoo! 